the beaded wrap bracelet, you need black leather cording, a shank button, and a shank button is just like a coat button that has a little loop on the back. You're going to need beads, and we've got three different colors of beads here because we're going for an ombre effect. The beads that we're using are round crystal rondels, and we have them in a purple, a light purple, and crystal clear. We've got 25 of the darker color and the lighter color, and then 50 of this clear color, and we'll show you why later. We're going to use fire line, which is a kind of beading thread that's stronger than regular sewing thread, and we're using smoke or black. We have beading needles that are extra fine beading needles. We've got a tape measure, beading glue, and that's optional. We've got a piece of felt, and we'll show you what that's for later. Masking tape, and then finally we have a clipboard. To determine the length of our bracelet, what I've done here is wrapped a tape measure around my wrist, and I wrapped it four times to give me an idea of how long the cord needs to be for four wraps. And it looks like it's about 30 inches. I wanted to leave a little bit of room so that the bracelet can move around. So we're going to use a cord that's 30 inches, plus we're going to add 6 inches, and that's because we need a little bit um, extra for the knot for the clasp and for the other end of the clasp. And then we're going to double that because we need twice that length for our bracelet. We'll show you here. This is our cord. It's 36 inches times 2, and that's because it has two sides. We've folded that cord in half and tied a knot at one end. And now we're ready to set up our clipboard. To do that, we've got our clipboard. We put a piece of paper here so that we're able to see our beads real well. We're going to take the end that we knotted here, that little loop, and we're going to fold this piece of felt over the loop, and that's just to protect it from this little edge of the clipboard. We're going to clip that under that clipboard and pull the strings down like this. Now we're going to set up the bottom of the clipboard by extending these cords down like this and then placing a piece of tape across the bottom. And that's basically just to hold these in place so that we can go back and forth pretty easily. So we're just going to go like that with our masking tape and tape it down. And now we're ready to bead. To get started, we've threaded our needle with two yards of fire line doubled over. We're going to add more thread later and we'll show you how to tie that on as we're going. First thing we want to do is attach the thread to one side of our cord. And to do that, we're just going to feed the needle under the left side. I like to start on the left. And then just pull it to the end of our doubled over thread like this. Not all the way to the end because you need a little bit of tails to work with. We're just going to tie a basic overhand knot. And we're going to tie it as close as to that top knot that we've got in our cord as we can. And then we're going to do that again just to make it nice and secure so that we've got a little double knot. Pull it real tight and just leave that end. We'll deal with that later. And now we're ready to get started beading. We're going to feed a bead on. Pull it to the end here, and then we're going to go over this right hand cord and back under and pull it through. And this first bead is going to jump around and be a little bit um, difficult to keep in the middle, but we're just going to hold it there and pull it through. And now we want to go back through that bead. And this is what's going to keep all the beads nice and straight on our bracelet. So we've pulled it back through the bead. And now, just to make sure that as, we, as we're starting this is nice and secure, we're going to do that again through that same bead. So I'm going to go under this left-hand side, pull it through, and then go straight back through this bead just to make sure that it's nice and secure. And my tails are in the way here. Let me move these tails out of the way so you can see what we're doing here. We're going to pull that tight, and then we're going to go back under that right hand side, just like that. 
And I'm going to tighten this a little bit and kind of move the bead up to make sure it's up where we want it on our cord. There we go. And we want to go back through the bead. And then we can start adding on our other beads. We're starting with this clear crystal color because we want to get an ombre look. We're going to shift to our next color after we put on 25 of these beads. So to add our next bead, we're going to go under the left hand side like that, slide on a bead, pull it down to the center, go over the right hand side and back under. It sounds complicated, but it's going to be the same thing over and over again, and it's actually really easy once you get started. Then we're going to go back through that same bead and over the left hand side. Show you that again. And then we want to pull it nice and tight, not too tight. You don't want it to start buckling the cord on that side, but you do want it to be secure. So again, we're going to go under the left hand side of the cord, slide on a bead, if I can find the center. Put it down to the center of our cords here. Go back over the right hand side and then through that bead again. Pulling the thread over the left hand side. Do that again. Under the left hand side. Slide on a bead. Over the right hand side and through the bead. And we're just going to keep doing this over and over again until we have 25 of our clear beads on our cord. And then we're going to show you how to tie on some more thread and add our next color. So we've got 25 of our crystal clear beads on our bracelet now. We're ready to switch to our lighter purple. And we're just going to feed on the beads just like we've been doing sliding it down to the middle, going over the right side, back under and through the bead to the other side and going over the left side of the cord. Just like that. Pull it tight and go back under the left side, slide on a bead, pull it down to the center, go over the right side, through the bead, and over the left side. And we're just going to keep doing this exact thing until we've got all 25 of our light purple beads on our bracelet. We're partway through adding on our light purple beads and you can see that what we've done here is moved up the bracelet. Um, just basically slid it up under the clipboard a little further so that we have more room to work. And we just place the felt back over the bracelet so that we don't get any mars from, or we don't mar our leather. And we're running out of thread, so we want to show you how to add some more thread. What we're going to do is we've added a bead on, just like normal. We're going to tie this thread around this um, right side of our leather cord, just like that. Just a regular old knot. Make sure it gets nice and tight around the cord like that. And now to make sure it's nice and secure and to hide where our knot is, we're going to go back through this bead just like that. And the knot will kind of magically pull through and get hidden in there, which is just sort of nice. And now I'm going to trim the end here, but I'm going to leave it a little bit long and we'll deal with that later. I threaded my other needle here and what I'm going to do is tie a knot around this left side of the cord just like we did when we started. I'm going to pull it down, not all the way to the end, but close to the end. Tie a little knot. You kind of get it up close to where we tied or where we brought the other thread through. And I'm going to tie a double knot just to just to be sure here that it's nice and secure. And I'm going to go back through this bead again, and that's just to anchor this thread um, to the bracelet and to the bead, because otherwise it might slide down our bracelet. We don't want that to happen. So I've gone through the bead, 
ignore these tails here, like I said. We'll fix those later. And then we're going to go back under, just like we would normally, and back through the bead. Oh, except I went through there. Hold on. There we go. Back through the bead. And then we'll go under this left side and we'll start just again, just like we were doing before. And um, my tails are getting caught here, but I'm just going to move them out of the way so you can see what we're, what we're doing. There we go. Add on our next bead. Same as before. We'll go up and around, under, and through the bead. And then over this left side and under. Move the tails out of the way. And add on our next bead. And we'll just keep going till we get all 25 of these light purple beads on our bracelet. We finished adding all of our beads to our cord and you can see that we went from clear to our lighter purple, darker purple, and then back to clear to get that ombre look. And we went back and trimmed where our ends were sticking out, but first we added a tiny bit of glue on top of that knot and then trimmed where our little tails were hanging out. And we did that in every little spot where we had tails hanging out. Now we're ready to add our button closure. To do that, we're gonna take our ends and we're gonna just tie a knot. Let me turn this around. We're gonna tie a knot as close as we can to those, the last bead there. So I'm gonna just do a knot just like that. Kind of hold it and get it real firmly tight up there, up against that last bead. And then adding our button is just as easy as sliding it on the end and tying another knot. So we'll feed that through like that. We're going to slide that all the way up to where that knot is like that. And then take the two ends and tie another knot just like we did on the other side. Up and around. Pull it tight. Got one side a little longer than the other so I'm going to pull it tight like that. And then that's going to hold our button in place. And then we like to leave a little bit of the um, of a tail hanging out here. So that's sort of the look. So we're going to trim it like that so that we've got a little bit of the tail hanging out there. Because that's fun. And then you'll see that that works as a fantastic little closure by sliding that loop right over our button. Mm -hmm.